Washington has been wary of Iran for decades. During the Iranian Revolution and the 1979 hostage crisis, when militants stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, you're seeing some images of that uh, still so fresh in our minds. Uh, remember, Iran held 52 Americans for more than 400 days. Since the 1979 revolution, Iran has gone from being one of the two pillars of U.S. policy in the region to being its largest nemesis. And that's for a variety of reasons. Originally for its support of extremism, for its takeover of the American embassy, its ties on an ongoing basis to some of the rogue regimes, uh, the extremist movements in the region. And of course, it's threatening language to Israel. The policy that the United States has pursued for the better part of the last three decades has been one that has been centered on pressure. At the end of the day, the United States has defined itself in being in some form of a conflict, obviously not an open warfare, but some form of a rivalry with the Iranians. And the Iranians have responded in kind.